Okay, here's your system. We'll go over the hookups first. You have your amplifier, the player, the dual wireless mics. You'll notice the amplifier. I have the player hooked in into the DVD. It doesn't matter where you hook it up, but I just put it right here, red and white. And then I have the red and white into the back of the player all the way over to the left. You'll notice that there's a yellow cable on each. You're not going to use these since you're going to use a VGA monitor. Just in case you ever need to run it into a regular TV, you can. Uh, just, just so that I could go over this video with you, I did hook it up, the video, from here to there. When you do it, you're just going to go from here to your monitor. Now, as far as the speaker hookup, just match up the colors. You have the red and black, just match it to the red and black. Red and black, red and black. Same thing with the back of the speaker. Then you have the wireless microphone. You just plug in the back here and you plug it into the front. You'll also notice you could, you'll have a cable that has an eighth inch plug. If you want to hook up a laptop, play some music off it, a smartphone, iPod, that's an extra cable. You could hook that cable up anywhere you want. Here, 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 doesn't matter. Then you go to the front of the system. Of course, you got your standard power for all the uh, pieces. I have the volume set at uh, right here, basically 10 o'clock. You'll notice I have the volume set here, even though most often it's basically right around here. And then you come in with the music volume right here. The amount of echo that you put in the microphones. You have the microphone one and two. You'll see the wireless that I have hooked up here. You'll notice that as it's charging, it will have a red light or green light. When you take it out, it will stop the charging. And then when you turn it on, you'll see the check, check one, one two. two. You'll see the actual LED, LED light, light when it turns on. Then you also have this. So let's say one of the first things you want to do is play a disc. So we'll open it up, throw on a disc. You have the remote control. I suggest you keep it in the plastic. It does help, but you can take it out. It's not going to be a big deal. Once the disc loads, it will show that it's disc loading. And then what will happen is a box will pop up. Basically showing that it has songs in there. And you basically just pick the song you want. So we'll say we want song five. Make sure you point it at your... Um, so you see I pressed 5 and you see the song and then I press enter and then it plays it. You can turn up the volume play the drive. Stop. Open it up. Take the disc out. Before you use your drive, you always want to make sure that it says no disc. And then you just go to the back. Once it says no disc, 
plug it in and it's showing that it's the USB device and it's bringing up the song just go ahead and press whatever song now let's say you want to play more than one song like program them you press the repeat button and then when you press the repeat it will show continue so then now you could just start four or five hit the program button 65 hit the program button 63 program and you'll see that it keeps putting it at the bottom and then once you're done with the song it'll automatically go to the next one and if you don't want to use the next one you just basically go to the next one after that now let's say you're using the drive and you want to be able to do a disc you can hit this D slash U button on the remote you'll see that it gives you the option you want to highlight DVD drive press enter it goes back to looking for the disc it says no disc open it up put the disc in Of course, once again, it's going to say disk loading. And that box should show up. Once that's up, just go ahead and select your song again. So we got that. Now we're done with the disk. Press stop. Press the D slash U button again on the remote. Go ahead and put USB device and it goes back to the USB device and shows that it's on there. So that's pretty much it. And even if you have a thumb drive with MP3 music on it, you could actually use it. Now let's go ahead and go back to the DVD drive. Open that up because we're done with it. Hang on one second. See what I did because I was messing around trying to go back and forth too quick? That's something that could happen. But let's say it freezes up. Just make sure you unplug your drive. And then go ahead and eject the disk. Once it goes back to saying no disk, then you just plug your drive back in. But let's say you have a another thumb drive that just has some regular uh, MP3 music on it. You plug that in, and it should start to register that one. And as you notice, I just have a bunch of MP3 songs on there. You'll have to remember where they're at. You can make your own song list that says, okay, you got you go down to uh, song number four, press enter. And then now all of a sudden you're able to get the And that's pretty much it. And they have step-by-step -step instructions on Cav's website on how to upload the disc.